back everyone. This week we're at Chloe's Kingdom and we're here for another XC. It's uh, I would say a pretty decent start for our kid out Bobby. Had to slow lose some speed there. Those guys <laughs> wobbly straight away. This bit is always carnage. Apparently like the day before there was like a massive pile up on there. Um, just trying to not get in with anyone else because oh yep Jesus Christ people are down everywhere. Ah but that's what happens at the start of these races. So I came on the Sunday. Um, I was planning to come the Saturday, but I just kind of flew back in this week from the UK and um, I was super jet lagged and I had a cold all week, which is um, basically like, a, a, like what's the word? It's like a, a premonition, prefix to what's gonna happen in this race. So I had a cold all week and I also got like a leg spasm. Leg spasm uh, didn't really affect me in this race at all. So that was not a problem whatsoever but um yeah i was like okay well i'm feeling super tired I'll, I'll go the sunday instead so i avoided the heavy rain which made this race much harder on the saturday everyone was telling me it was absolute absolutely savage and this race is already savage let alone just throwing like a, a, an entire pond river of water onto it as well so yep doing all right the bike is running great. I am super, super happy with how the bike ran this year. I have zero complaints. I got good tires. I um, was about to cry throwing tire irons around my fucking garage, be trying to get the front moose installed. So that's one thing. All the videos, all the tutorials, of course, all show you the rear tire. They never show you the front tire. And I know why they never show you the front tire. And I never installed a boost before, so I didn't fully understand the technique. And they always like glaze over some of the little bits like pretty quick, like, oh yeah, you can do it in two minutes. You just need to like do the little lever here and blah 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 and it all goes in super easy. And you're like, oh okay. Well, how how could it be? And I'm like in there trying to like push the moose into the tire and I can barely get it over the rim and I've got I borrowed uh, Kiwi Brian's tire changing tool. Um and I'm like trying to shove the front moose in and it's fucking popping out the other side and I'm like, oh my god, what the hell is this shit? Did I even went to go check to make sure I had the right size. I was like, did I buy a size too big or something? Nope. Perfect size. Anyway, after like wanting to kill myself for like three and a half hours, I, I got the front tire moose installed and I'm here testing it. I didn't get the rear because obviously um, with it taking so absolutely ridiculously large amount of time, I, I just was like, I can't stop it trying to do the rear. Um, and then I, I buggered off to England and it was really nice. I got to see my sister and my mother and my, uh, my, my brother-in-law, of course, and uh, my new nephew because uh, she gave birth a couple of months ago. Well, four, four months ago now, five months ago. Baby's getting older, but uh, this is the first time I managed to get back. So I was, yeah, it was really nice to go back and see the family. However, I got a really horrible cold. Um, and it was like, it's like one of those really like snotty ones. And like, I felt like my heart was beating out of my chest, like nonstop. Um, so yeah, uh, this morning I woke up and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get let's get to the right tray uh, to get to the um, get to the race. It's a two and a half hours drive because there's no traffic in the morning. The heart was beating pretty quick though. I'm like, maybe I'm just nervous for the race. Um, <clears throat> and like the day before, I was like, oh, I'm over the cold as well now. I'm coming up uh, on uh, the class before. I think that's Zibby. Let's let's us by today. <laughs> um, big thank you to him for letting us by. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I come up and I'm like, you know, like when your cold's finished and like you have that like, like that really long, thick, snotty trail snot coming out and you're like, ah, I'm fine now. I'm, I'm not ill anymore. It's just like, you know, that last bit. I thought I was breathing pretty good in the thing earlier, but I packed some medicine just in case. Um, anyways, so riding now, I'm like, I'm really happy with how I'm riding. Everything's going great. Like, I feel like I've got a decent pace on. I'm not, I'm not making any mistakes. Not really yet. I make some in a minute, but like, oh, uh, just whatever. Just muscle through everything. Yeah, it feels great. Bike's handling great. Tires are hooking up. The moose is great. Um, really happy with how everything is. Um, the suspension, I said it as super soft, <laughs> like as, as soft as the compression can go. As, uh, as the advice from Big Iron the year before was, where he's just like, just crank it, just crank it. So I was like, yeah, I remembered all of that. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, yeah, so everything's going pretty, pretty hunky-dory right now. I, I don't know where I am exactly in the race, but I don't feel like I'm holding anyone up. And I'm doing all right. Keep it up with the guy in front. Um, yeah. So go along those banks and stuff. And here I am. Um, 
thrown through this muddy section. I just get caught out. Uh, like, you'll see in a second. I should be standing, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure where to go, so I'm just like, ah, let's go over here. And then suddenly... Whoop, went down! Don't even know what I went down on! <laughs> I went down before I even hit the thing, so I'm... I, uh, secret, secret route took me down. I lose a few places. It's no big deal. Uh, I lose quite a lot of places, actually. It's like four. So I'm probably like, what, ninth now or something? Eighth? Ninth? Probably. But it's okay. They're not far ahead. They're just around the corner. We just keep going. It's bumpy. Now, about 20, 15 to 20 minutes um, into the first lap, my face just completely, I can't breathe snot has come and like I'm like struggling to breathe and I'm like mouth breathing I've turned into an absolute Neanderthal mouth breather obviously I'm like oh, this is not this is not good I can't breathe through my nose and like it felt like my goggles were like pushing into my face and I, I was like oh my god um, breathing through my mouth I'm, I'm steaming up my goggles I can't see um, I gotta do something like this so I sniffed all the stuff in and I spit it all out dribbles down my helmet dribbles down my front like, ah it's disgusting won't do that again and about a minute later, it's exactly the same. Completely bumped. Can't breathe at all through my nose. So I swallowed it. That's where I went wrong. Got to always spit. Never swallow. Yeah. So, this place is quite bumpy. You might have noticed in the video, I'm getting shaken around quite a bit. And now I'm sniffing and sniffing and sniffing. And I'm just getting more and more mucus into my stomach. <coughs> yep. And uh, I'm being shaken. And it turns out I'm a delicate little flower. So, um... I started feeling nauseous, so nauseous, like every bump made me want to throw up. Um, and I, I'm starting to like struggle because I'm like, what, what am I doing? Like, I, I, I can't, <coughs> pardon me, I can't see um, because my goggles are steaming up from mouth breathing. Um, I feel extremely sick. Um, and I was starting to make mistakes. And um, yeah, like, oh my God, I, I was just, <coughs> sorry. Ugh, still coughing. Um, still got phlegm. But anyway, um, yeah, I was just like, I, I just swallowed so much phlegm to try and like clear it because I didn't want it like dribbling down my chin. <laughs> that, um, that I just started feeling horrifically sick and that, and then I'm like slowing down because I'm like, oh my God, every time I hit a bump, I feel like I'm going to be sick. And um, I'm still like, okay, well, let's, you know, keep going, just keep going. Maybe it, maybe it'll settle up. Maybe, maybe Quinn will have been kind enough to like let us have like a nice, easy, smooth line. Jokes on me. Absolutely wasn't happening. But you know, I, I still feel like the tire, the bike is running great. I'm tracking up everything. I feel confident. Like, bikes, everything's good. Just my body is starting to be like, bruh, bruh, non-stop. And then, like, about I'd say about. 25 minutes into the first lap I just had to like my pace just went completely I just had to slow down I like there was no way I could maintain that pace I couldn't like I was just feeling horrific I'm just like okay just ride easy just ride much slower you'll be fine just try and do two or three laps just it'll be okay um, don't be sick anyway multiple times I throw up in my mouth and I'm like oh my god this is bad this is really bad I, I definitely managed to get sick down my drink pipe because obviously I tried to take a, a drink and I'm like, oh, great, that just tastes d delicious. It tastes like vomit. Tasty. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that wasn't, it wasn't going good. Um, so, yeah, my pace has completely fallen off now. There's no way I could ride like I was earlier. I can't, like, the snot's still coming. I'm spitting and dribbling and throwing up. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, I thought maybe... Maybe if I just ride a little bit and slow down and chill out, maybe um, I can I can bring my heart rate down. But then I'm like, ah, oh, but my heart was already like going like so high from oh from God. the cold, and now I'm just riding terrible. Look at that! What what am I doing? Basically pushing the bike up things, which uh, I, this is also not 12k in. I, I don't know where the number started, but it's definitely not right. Um, I I also don't remember if it was this point in the video or not. I'm actually like feeling horrifically sick i think it is by now i'm, I'm feeling awful um and then about um 30 minutes in oh no hang on so yeah like you know i'm still making it around i make it up this thing 
uh, which caused me, this is on the second lap, this was the bit where I was like, I have to just quit the race. I can't go on anymore. Even though at that point I was still just like, oh, you know, I feel sick, but maybe I could just ride around slowly. But at that, that little hill on the second lap, I'm really sorry. I blocked uh, the, the whole thing up where I, I fell and um, the guy in second place came around and I, I, at that point I was like dizzy in the head and had just thrown up in my mouth. And he came around and I was like, oh, fuck. And then I just felt so bad. I, I was just blocking. I couldn't pick up the bike by myself at that point. I was like literally dizzy trying to pick the bike up. Um, and then he came and helped me. Thank you very much to him. Sorry for blocking him. I hope I didn't ruin his race. I, I mean, I definitely didn't help him for fucking sure there. But I, I mean, I hope I didn't make it worse. So, But, you know, like this is like you can see all the little rocks. Doesn't look so bad in the video. It's pretty bad. I'm just being shaken to shit. And yeah, then it all starts going to shit pretty soon afterwards. I think Isaac overtakes me around here. I'm like, you can see I'm riding so slow now compared to what I was, not even at the start, but just like, you know, after a few minutes into the start. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So Isaac passed me. He's absolutely ripping it. He did so well this weekend. I think he came third overall. He did four laps both days. Look at him go. I, I, there's no chance I can keep up. I, I was just like, chunder town trying to survive <laughs> but he was on fucking fire absolutely massive improvement yeah i'm even saying to myself now like i've realized what's happening i just can't breathe i'm feeling sick um yeah i'm riding terribly because of it <laughs> pretty sure i crashed my bike in about two seconds for no reason like yeah this is a, I, I, I couldn't I couldn't see it. I just took my goggles off. I was like, I can't I can't see through these things anymore. Just mouth breathing and sickness. <sighs> Made it through one lap. Almost. This is basically the end of the lap. This was a pretty scary downhill. Never done anything this bumpy before and everyone's looking at me and now I feel like quite embarrassed. And that guy scared the shit out of me with this one. <laughs> Did make me feel better, but it also made me jump. <laughs> Um, and then, basically, my second lap looks entirely like this. I just feel awful. Hey, it's Rusty Nut Racing. Hi, Mike. And I remembered his name going. now. It's Mike. I keep going. I want him to go by. I'm, I'm just, I, I already know at this point. I'm just, I was like, oh, I'll just take it as a trail ride. I'll try to do some more laps I or something. I am very ill still, it seems. I, I already figured out what happened. And I dropped the bike again. I'm not even, like, I have nothing in the tank anymore. I just can't even hold the bike up anymore. Oh, I'm just shit at riding. <laughs> like, like, I look up, like, a second later, and Mike's just come up there. Yep. <laughs> Rode into a tree. <laughs> just, just nothing left. William comes by. What boss? He did four laps as well on the second day. Absolute, absolute madman. Good for him. I really wish I was able to just keep riding properly. Now I'm just getting frustrated at myself and dropping the bike on my second lap. I, I, I tried to take some medicine. It helped yeah. for all of two minutes, but I'm not sure if it was just the rest from not riding whilst I was taking it. <laughs> just rode into another tree. <laughs> Jet lag and a cold. No, no. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Jet lag and a cold is a terrible combination. Fucking trees going down! Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm that... I'm that strong, dude. The first lap, this this thing wasn't even a problem, but I come around so slowly on the second lap. It's... Fall over, crash, lay it in a bush. Oh my god. I can't ride for shit. Just drop the bike again. I'm like, ah oh shit. This is where the guy came. This is the second place. Oh, sorry, man. I, this is where I was talking about on the first thing. I, I felt I'm so bad. Really sick. I couldn't pick the bike up. I needed his help. I, I just couldn't do it right at that point. Uh. Sound like an absolute princess. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to that fella. Like, can't apologize enough. Oh, fuck. But yeah. So anyway, yeah, Connie's kicked him. Great success, did two laps. <laughs> the bike was fucking brilliant. I have zero complaints about the setup. I just... Ill. Oh, yeah, there it goes again. At least I had been resting for a few minutes by that point, so I was able to just pick the fucking bike up. And this was where I was like, yeah, my race is 
race. My ride is over. Uh, this is not even like a trail ride anymore. I've just got to get to the end and, and call it a day because I'm like dizzy and sick. <laughs> oh, well. Is what it is. So, yeah, note to self don't do a race immediately after a flight, uh, especially if you're ill. Maybe after the one or the other might have been fine, but both, both together? Yeah, not a great combo, but whatever. I think that'll do for this video. <laughs> See ya.